Do you ever have to type the same message over and over again? Maybe you're copying and pasting from some kind of Google Doc. Well, it might be a single word, uh, a link, maybe it's to your Calendly account, to your Zoom meetings, maybe it's a template to reach out to, to folks as prospects that includes a squirrel and a GIF. Well, good news, Magical will allow you now to create templates that include any of those things and call them up in a blink of an eye. So you might be asking yourself, how do I do this? Well, let's talk about templates. What are templates? Templates are also known as shortcuts or snippets, text expansions, pretty much they're text, code, or other information you want to drop into your work. So how do you do this? How do you create a template and, and where do you use it? Well, you use it anywhere you do work. You might use it in Gmail, in LinkedIn, in Salesforce, in Zendesk, and even in your internal tools. In this video, I'll go over how you can create a template, put it into action, and see amazing time-saving results. So first thing we'll do is create one. So let's say I'm browsing around and I'm on this page, which is a LinkedIn page, and I think of an idea of a message to send to Claire who might be a prospect. The first thing I'll do is I'll open up Magical. And you can see there's two tabs. There's the Templates tab and the Transfers tab. So to create a template, I'll head over to the Templates tab and I'll click on Create Template. Now, as I'm creating this template, I want to think about a couple things. One is, how can I make sure this is usable over and over again? And the second thing is, how can I create it in a way that it triggers with the right keyword? So the first thing I'll do is head over here and create a trigger. This is what will call your template into any tool you're writing in. And so here, for example, you might want to think of something like, um, we'll call this outreach. Now, you might have noticed that I added a dash in front of the word outreach. That's because when we trigger a template, we want to be using something that we don't just type regularly. I might write outreach in a regular day to day, and that would actually call up this template. So instead, I add a dash, some people add a squiggly line, add whatever is natural to you. Next, let's start writing our template. So you can see Magical already has suggested we start with high first name, making it really easy for me to go and continue adding. I'll say, I would like to connect with you about our software leaders in, and I can even add in a placeholder here to make this more personal. So we'll add in the a word for industry. So that way I can personalize it to Claire and leaders in the software space. Love using our productivity tool best Elon. Once you've written it out, you can go ahead and click save. But just before I do that, I want to show you some cool things. The first is you can change this to be rich text. So let's say I want to highlight or bold the word leaders. I can click bold. I can make it a URL. I can even italicize, add bullets, numbers, emojis, and you can even add images. You can also add in today's date, or if you read other documents, you might even see in our community ways to add today so that it automatically populates with today's date. You can also insert a clip from your clipboard. So if you've recently copied something you wanna put that in, you could put that in as well. So those are some ways that you can write a template that is personal and will help you save time on messaging outreach prospects or helping customers as you help them. So let's go ahead and click save. You can see now it's offering for me to share this with all my teams or any specific teams. I'm gonna skip this for now. And it's now been added to my list of templates in Magical. Now that you've seen how to create a template, let's talk about when and how you might use a template. A great example would be in LinkedIn. If I wanted to message Claire, I might actually use my template to send a message. So there's a couple ways that you can bring up your template or trigger your template. The first is by typing the word that we used as our trigger. Now you can already see here, it's trying to automatically fill in the templates, placeholders with words that it finds on the site. So we definitely wanna use the word Claire and we wanna use the word software here. So you also have the option to type it in if it's not on the site. 
So let's go ahead and insert that. And you can see that was one way to pull up one of our templates. The second way that you can use a template is by typing slash slash. Slash slash brings a list of your templates right in front of your screen. You can actually see it's recommending one that I've used recently. So I can just go ahead and click outreach. And there you go. You're able to really easily call up your templates by either typing slash slash or by typing the trigger for the template. Now you can see I have a bunch of these here and some of them are similar. What if I wanna go and modify and edit my templates? Well, first and foremost, I can do that by clicking this little home button, which takes me to the workspace. So now this is the magical workspace. Right now we're in my own personal space and you can see all my templates here. If you wanna edit them, you can do that. Just go in and edit text. You can delete them. You can add tags to help organize them. Something like prospecting and create and apply. And that'll help me organize and be able to find my templates quicker if I have a ton of them. It's pretty amazing. The last thing I'll show you here quickly is that you can also search your templates. So again, once you start having a lot of these, I have 18, I might wanna think about something that, uh, or if I don't remember the trigger for something, I can just search it. So I might be looking for my birthday trigger. I can actually search it and it really easily pulls it up to the forefront here under my templates. And it searches the words in the template, not just the trigger. So that's everything there is to know about templates. Pretty cool, right? And this is just one of the magical tricks that we have up our sleeve. So for more information on using transfers or using AI, check out the other videos in our quick start guide and we'd be happy to help. Thanks so much and have a great day.